Hello and welcome to White Horse Music TV! My name is Richard Bodina and I just spun that cello and it's probably not a good thing to do. One day that'll go wrong. So today is an exciting day because I am demonstrating three fancy cellos. These in Australian dollars hover around the sort of $10,000 mark or just over. Um, they are all made in Germany. Um, cello number one is this one called the Helmut Ilna cello and it has lovely antiquing as you can see not um, overly antique you see some cellos that are very 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 antique looking which like you know I don't mind I think that looks like a, a nice thing when they're well antiqued but this is this is moderately antiqued I would say um, and this particular maker, Helmut Ilner, um, when he moved to Germany, became very successful and um, he won an award twice, a pretty cool award because in my notes down here it says he won the best cello tone award twice in a row in the Manchester International Cello Festival, which is a pretty, you know, um, pretty good level cello making competition. And I think the sound award is a good thing to win when you're making cellos. Because, um, you know, when I look at cellos, obvious, like, because I'm a bit obsessed, I drool when they're extremely well made, and that's, that's me. But, um, you know, I think I drool even more when they sound really, really good. It keeps me coming back to that cello and wanting to play it more and more. You know, it's not a piece of furniture, so winning a sound award, I think, is a good thing. All right, let's see what the helmet Ilna B model sounds like. Okay, it's very deep and it rings, and it has this center sort of core to the note as well that helps it to cut through and project. Not too much of that. Some very cheap cellos are just that, you know, <laughs> they just cut through and hurt your ears, which is not good. But this has that depth, it has the strength, it has ring. And one other thing that it has, I think, that you can't really tell from this video, is it has a very quick response. It's very easy for me, as like I'm originally a violinist, and for a violinist, when you first play a cello, after about five minutes, you are just really tired. Because to get your bow into the string and to get it resonating is a difficult thing. With this helmet Ilna, I'm calling this a violinist's cello. A violinist's advanced cello because it's so easy to play. So I, I found that just speaks really, really easily. And that probably, to me, is almost as important as the sound that comes out of it when it speaks. So that's a beautiful cello. Helmet Ilna B model. They make a, I think, a, a D, C, B, A, possibly even double A, that sort of thing. And that's not to do with the size of the cello, that's the, the quality as they're going up, up the levels of um, quality of wood and that sort of thing. But I've had the um, D, C, B, A in violins, and often the B is my favourite model, and that's why I have this particular B model cello. Um, I haven't, you know, I only found about Helmut Ilna, found out about them recently, and I am in love. So that is cello number one. Cello number two is what we have here. Now this is a Clement cello. Clement C5, another one of these cello makers that um, they make lots of different levels of their cellos. Oh, there's my bridge. We spent, I spent about 10 hours on each of these advanced cellos, making bridges and sound posts and sometimes remaking them and that sort of thing and planing fingerboards and 
I get pretty obsessive. I've seen a doctor about it. They say it's okay to be obsessive about cellos. Um, so, the Clement cellos, yes, I've only had them recently. I had um, uh, a very advanced student ring up and say, I'm looking for a Clement cello and I've never heard of it before. And um, I said, why do you want that one? And they said, well, a friend of mine has it and the teacher loves it and thinks it's the best cello in that range that they've heard. And so I said, okay, I'm gonna source this Clement C5 cello. Um, and so I went to the supplier and they didn't have one and I waited a couple of months and it finally came in and I set it up and was very surprised. It was really beautiful. <laughs> it sounds like I, I didn't believe what they were saying, but um, I did. It's just that, um, you know, everyone has different tastes in cellos. And I wanted to listen for myself. Now this Clement C5 cello, it's a bit hard to see in the video, I think think because the colors in the screen to me here look a little bit lighter and don't bring out the reds as much this has a tiny little bit of a reddish tinge to the to the varnish and it just looks really sensational I'll play it for you see what you think and make sure that you comment in the comments and tell me which one of these cellos that you would buy if you were buying one of these cellos and even better come and buy one of them <laughs> Ah, uh, I'm hilarious. All right. sound is smooth and silky and buttery it's probably not a good word to use when describing cellos it has no butter on it but it just sounds really um, smooth it's equally as deep as the helmet Ilna <laughs> say even maybe that it's slightly deeper on the bottom string just a tiny bit marginally um similar amount of ring except it doesn't have as much of the core of the note as the helmet ilna you know that sort of sharp projecty thing uh it more sort of hovers around the note which is also a beautiful thing I, based on sound, I would really struggle between these two. Um, it, it really, really rings. It's got... to the sound I mean both of these have evenness to the sound um, oh, it's really these are hard these videos sometimes when you're comparing two or three really really good quality cellos that both belong in this range um, there's there's no sort of like oh that one is better or this one is better this one is just has a different character and I'm finding it very hard to describe all I can say that it probably has more smoothness has slightly more um, wideness to the sound, but not quite as much um, focus within the core of the sound. Not that that is an extremely over the top focus cello, but it's just, it has a tiny bit more of that focus of sound. It's also very easy to play. I've got to say probably the Helmet Ilna is my choice as far as the easiest to play cello in this range and this is also very easy to play. You would almost call them violinists, violinists cellos or you don't have to be a violinist to play these cellos it's fine. Next up we have the Heinrich Gill 
W3 cello. Now Heinrich Gill, I mean I've had Heinrich Gills for years. Um, they've been making cellos since 1952. Um, they have some of the, like the, a very enormous range of very aged tone woods because they've been going for so long to choose from. Um, they have a, a wide range of levels of cellos, like the other two cellos that I'm demonstrating here. Um, this one, the W3, the models that I've had recently, there's been 304, which is sort of like a starting model, and then um, the 334, um, the W2, and then W3. And then there's two above that, X5 and X7. Now, um, this particular double three, W3, I believe sort of outperforms the previous W3 that I had. So even with a, you know, like really established, wonderful company like Heinrich Gill, it's impossible to make two cellos sound exactly the same. I mean, to make a model sound the same throughout a range of cellos is just impossible. But, the, and in this case, that's great because this one is the, my favorite W3 that I've had. So have a listen. sound. You can still hear me luckily because I'm enveloped by sound. I'm, you know, my head is just sticking outside of that big sound bubble that I've been enveloped in. Um, that is a, an enormous, enormous, full, thick sound. You know, I would say it a little bit, not, not by, you know, much, has it over the other two cellos in just the pure thickness of, of sound. You know, really really beefy um it's it's got a tiny bit of angriness to it as well you know it's it's strong it's angry it's thick um <laughs> if you can get the sound out in the same way that you can the other two's. I would say this is a cellist's cello. You know, if you're an advanced cellist, you can do better than I can on this cello because the, the response is not as quick as the other two. Um, and sometimes I find that with um, advanced cellos, if they have that enormous thickness to the sound, it feels like you have to carry that sound. Um, it will, it's harder to get it out, but there's more of it, if you know what I mean. And because there's more of it, it's harder to get the sound out. But it's not a slow responding cello. It's just like a cellist's cello. Those are just two incredibly quick sounding cellos, quick responding cellos, I would say. But yeah, this has a lot of thickness. Now what I'll do is I'll go back in the other direction. I'll play the Heinrich Guild and the Clement and then the um, Helmut Ilner. <laughs> that time. Alright. So, Clement, let's see. do it 
the justice that it deserves that time. But that sounded magnificent. <laughs> jumps out of it. It's really easy. In fact, it's probably an unfair comparison in a way, because you've got a viol originally a violinist playing these cellos, and if it was a cellist playing it, they probably would get more out of the Heinrich Gill. Interesting. Um, oh, they're all so amazing. Please tell me in the comments which one you think is the champion of these three cellos. Oh, don't spin cellos like that. Just don't do it. Thank you for watching.